right behind me, La Valette. I think one of the best grandmasters in that year. After the siege, the great siege, he decided over here in Valletta, because when the great siege was over in Burgu, I've been over there many times, Burgu. This is La Valette. We're in a really historic part here. St. Catherine's, Auberge de Castile, Auberge de Italia, the Opera House, St. James Cavalier. Oh, well, the whole area is full of, of uh, history. I'm going to take you out of the, all the 25 plus churches that you can visit in Valletta. In Valletta only. 25 plus. I'm going to take you to the gem. I'm not saying that lightly. It's the gem of Valletta. La Valette. In fact, it's, it's, it's named after the, the great victory of the great siege of the Ottomans. Here it is, look. Our Lady of Victory. It was a lot smaller in those days and it was changed then various times. It had a direct hit on it. Um, on the top and the roof was collapsed. But out of complete defiance, the tower stayed there. Now we've got a sneaky view, maybe, maybe up to the bell tower if I speak to him nicely. On the phone, I check in, he's a very, very nice guy. It's an organization uh, that restores a lot of property over here in uh, Malta. It's a charity one, so there's a link below. You can become a member, link below. Even this church, you can hire it out as a wedding. So don't forget, have a look around. If you want to get married in a beautiful, beautiful, historic church. Under the foundations is the first stone that was ever laid in Valletta. And inside the stone, they put some coins. This organization has taken care of many places and are still taking care of many places all over Valletta. And it's got a beautiful name. The name is in the uh, National Anthem of Malta. There it is, look. Din Lat Helwa. Our beautiful land. Our beautiful land of Malta. I'm gonna go in a few minutes, guys. Keep your fingers crossed. He hasn't changed his mind about letting me go up on the roof because that's going to be a bonus. Uh, as I say, the link is below. You can make a donation. If you think this organization, you want to help it in any way. Or you want to become a member, you can as well. There's a link below. They're very grateful. They work on donations. They don't have any other money. So everything is from com com companies or individuals or tourists. And when you go in this church, there's a small box. You can give little or you can give as much as you want. Anyway, guys, here it is. Look, there's a bit of history. There's these beautiful uh, places all around the, the church, the, the altars. I'm going to show you, but you know, like usual, I'm not going to bore you too much with all the history, because if I stand there for half an hour giving you all this history, a lot of you are going to click away. But I'm going to put little bits underneath of the history. So you can take it or leave it, or you can pause it if you want to read a bit more history. But there's also their website, Din Lat Helwa, our beautiful land. You can go to their website and they've got so much history there of all the different places that they've restored all around Valletta. So let's go in, guys. We're going to go in. This is really, really, this is the gem of Valletta. And they've changed it. It was nothing like this in the very old days because um, he was buried here, La Valletta. Then when St. Paul's was built, he was put over there. Uh, there's a, a very rich merchant from Venice. His heart is here. He wanted to be buried here. So in those very old days, this, this area, look at it now. This is the Opera House. St. Catherine's, Italian church. Auberge de Castile, Auberge de Italia. The Boers at Amata, Upper Bracca Gardens. This is one of the most historic places in Valletta. So come on guys, we're going to have a look around. There it is, the foundation of Mitzi Din La Art Halwa. How beautiful Malta. Let's go and have a look guys. This is my island in the sun. Anyway guys, going to take you in. Thank you, La Valette. It's here. Hopefully it's open because uh, I spoke to Mario on the phone and he was, yeah, it's still open. I'm going to do a bit rush though because they only stay till about one o'clock. 
You can catch it open. Look at the area here, though, guys. We're right in the middle of Valletta. Oberst de Castile. Italian churches. There's the Opera House. That's the most unlucky Opera House in Europe. It was on fire. Then they built it and it was bombed. So, anyway, let's have a. Oh, I'm not going to show you. This is fantastic. Look at this, guys. Wow, look at these guys. Shh, so quiet. Look at the ceiling. Of the victory of the Grand Siege. It's depicted on the ceiling there. And there's four different altars. I'll put you the information underneath about them. The birth of Our Lady and the victory. I'm going to read you a little bit of the history. But somewhere around here is the main stone of Valletta. These are the different altars. I'll put the information below. Let's get a bit close up on it. So beautiful, the work. The uh, church was changed to Baroque style. These paintings are so beautiful uh, from way back. Look at the work in there, just in the alcove itself. And fantastic ceiling. I just can't stop looking at the ceiling. So much work and they restored it, really beautiful. It took a direct hit in the war and the whole lot came down. And in, in defiance to the Germans, the, the tower was still up, upright. Even the opera house got a direct hit. So this, this area really got a bit of bombarding. to see the, the amount of work that goes into these alcoves, look. Every space is filled up. What's interesting in the, uh, the main brick that they started at Valletta, there were some coins laid into the stone as well. They're somewhere here between uh, these buildings, the main church, the first church of Valletta. There's 25 plus churches in Valletta. But this is really a gem, eh? La Valletta was laid to rest here. Here it is, like in the crypt. Unfortunately, not allowed down there now because the stairs uh, were in need of repair. That's the crypt. This is a little bit of information, the crypt. You're standing on the crypt, the historic crypt of the first church building of Valletta, of Grandmaster Valletta, in 1568. Oh, it's getting busy. <laughs> Let's get out of the way. I'm going to show you downstairs, guys, a little bit of history. Let's read a little bit of it. <laughs> Our Lady Victoria Church. The small church of Our Lady Victoria was built and erected in Valletta on the order of St. John. Work commenced in 1566. The original structure was probably constructed by Francesco Lapelli di Cortena, 1521-1570. Okay, let's have a look downstairs, guys. There's a there's a really interesting uh, building downstairs, next to the crypt. Oh, here. I can go up. I'm going to try and get myself up to the tower. We're going down, guys. I was trying to speak a little bit quiet because there's a lot of people coming. Oh wow, look at this, guys. 
Wow. <laughs> Here is like a film show. This is next to the crypt. The crypt is down there somewhere. But the only entry to the crypt from outside there. There's a, there's a film show. Look at the. They're talking about the ceiling. For many years, the Valence Church was forgotten. Around these magnificent images of the Virgin suffered neglect, water infiltration, and inappropriate interventions. However, as a priest, come and see the film show. <laughs> There's a few the nice photos around. The church was recognized. 1943. Such was its state that you in September the festa is here. In 2000, I've got. Yeah, it's quiet now, guys. I've got a chance to show you this. Angel Emil. It's reputed that the heart is inside there, but no one's had a look inside. Shall we take a look, guys? <laughs> wow, closing up. You know how lucky we're going to be? Mario's invited me to go up to the belfry. Not many people will get a chance to do that. Oh, look how nice when it's, when it's closed. Yeah, yes, yeah. He's going to take us up there. How lucky we are, guys. Nobody else goes up there. So don't ask him when you come because he won't be allowed to go up there. It's just a special thing for me. I was talking to him about the videos and about they were going over the Red Towers. And like I said in, in the intro, guys, you can join this organization. You can donate. All the links are going to be below. They do a fantastic job. If you've just seen it before, before the restoration, there were people up there in the, on the planks doing the restoration of this beautiful ceiling. I could, I could lie down, I think. <laughs> just, look, just looking up there. So we're going to go up and have a look there. There's some fantastic view from the top. I've, I've kept him. I've kept him because normally he closes at 12.30, but we had a walk around. I hope I've captured everything. I'm not going to go into too much history. Like a lot of people complained that there was too much history. But like usual, I'll put it below. Uh, and also you can go to their awesome website. They've got a fantastic website and it's got lots and lots of information about this church. And thank you to Mario as well. Give him a thumbs up. He's going to show us around a bit. The crypt looks awesome. As I say, Lavalette was laid here. And then he went when they built St. Paul's, he went there. And I'm not going to keep him any longer because I'm sure he's going for his lunch. <laughs> We're going to go up. Hey, how nice when it's quiet though. When it's all closed up. Oh wow, we're up here, guys. Oh, look, St. Catherine here. This Italian church. Oh, birds to Castile. Valletta. Hello, Mr. Valletta. <laughs> hey, he just said to me, have a look round. Wow, look, you're right on top. Hey, I want to thank for Mario very much because no one's allowed up here. This is the fantastic view of the Opera House. No one's allowed to look up here. Wow, look. St. Catherine's, that's a really beautiful church and I haven't got into it. Listen, if you get married, guys, if you manage to go to Zidui and go around the seven times and you get a woman, you can come and marry her here. It's open for weddings. He said, just have a wander around. How nice of him. Oh, the bell. Come on, guys, let's go and have a look. Hey, I'm like a, like a kid in a candy shop. Get over here. Can we get on top of that roof? I think this is St. Jay's Cavalier here. So here, basically, was the first stone laid of Valletta. 
and I was reading that, come and see that uh, video because it said that they put coins, gold coins I think it was inside oh, you want to see the bells guys? this is the front of the church <laughs> come on, let's have a look oh wow oh, look at the view Hey, I want to have a go at something. Will I get arrested? <laughs> wow, look at this. There's uh, Upper Bracket Gardens. It was a bit difficult, the video going up the stairs. It was a bit, uh, a bit tight. Anyway. This is awesome up here. We're on top of Valletta. Thank you, Valletta. He's got some of my money that will take care of it. Wow, this is the front of the church here, guys. Oberste Castel. Beautiful. Come on, guys, let's go down. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Oh, <laughs> it's lovely. It's lovely and breezy up here. How do you get down? <laughs> Let's have a walk down. Show you a bit around there again. Hey, this is awesome. Uh, don't even try and ask because it took me ages to persuade him to let me up here. Uh, they're a bit, they're a bit careful because of, of, of the views and things like that. So, uh, but at least I talk you up here, guys. You had a good luck. See what you like it up here. But definitely come to this church. 25 plus churches in Valletta, and you just can't miss this one. This is the first, and the first one, whoops. It's awesome though, eh? I'm gonna finish up here, I think, hey guys? Why should we go downstairs? We'll go near Valletta, hey? We'll have a talk to Valletta, see if he likes the church. Okay, guys, I'm gonna be a bonus video coming up. Oh wow, wasn't that fantastic guys? I really enjoyed that so much. I love history, but I don't like to uh, blast you too much with history. Because you know that, uh, that little bit below, you can freeze, always freeze. Because some, some people say to me, Steve, it goes too fast. But I like to keep the video going because not everybody's really into uh, history. La Valette is over there, look guys. Thank you, La Valette, beautiful church and uh, Baroque style let's show you from the outside I think I didn't show you when we first started we walked straight in St. Catherine's look how beautiful we were up there guys near the bell okay guys we're going to leave it there thank you to Mario for taking care of us uh, for that little bit extra for going up into the bell tower he said tell people don't expect to go there <laughs> and he was a bit hesitant to, to let me up but I'm really grateful to him thank you very much and I really loved, I really enjoyed the, the church the history and of course I did say about uh, this beautiful foundation Din Lat Herwa our beautiful mortar how beautiful land I think it is, but uh, I'm going to add that. It's in the National Anthem, so uh, all the Morty should know it. <laughs> okay guys, bye. Take care. All the links are below and the links for uh, Din Lat El as well, if you want to become a member, which is really easy. Or if you want to hire the church, if you want to get married, or if you want to speak to Englishmen. All the links are always below and we're still doing great with our, uh, our groups of uh, Holiday Malta. You can come and get me on Facebook. You can see me Instagram, oh many things. Take care everybody. English money motor in this beautiful part of Valletta. Oh, there's the Castillo. Bye everybody, take care. And give me lots of life